hello everyone so today in this uh, camera systems tutorial series we are going to cover this mechanism now here you can see uh, the player is moving forward in the bridge and i am pressing w nothing else and but still the character is nicely moving along the bridge but you can as you can see there is an angle in camera and we are looking a bit down uh, but still the movement is pre-planned so that the character moves in the most convenient direction according to this situation so players will intuitively understand like if they press w according to this situation they should be going forward in this bridge similarly if i press a uh, or d the character will move in a perpendicular direction to this forward so yeah this is what we are going to work on today so what i call is uh, forcing a pre-planned movement based on the uh, location of the level and the camera setup that we are using so this is again something we can use to achieve a more cinematic look uh, into the game so as you can see here by planning the camera like this we can make a nice view to the game and so player can enjoy the level scenery properly so when the player comes inside this is switched back to the old camera that we implemented where we just simply focus on the player and if I go back in this direction again the camera will be switched back to the again this camera and then the bridge camera a little further and the bridge camera also follows the player as well all right so I'm sure you have seen this mechanism in games like Shadow of Colossus, so maybe Tomb Raider games and maybe God of War. A lot of games actually have this kind of cameras. So yeah, let's see how to do this today. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel. To the date, there are over 1700 videos and for each video, project file is accessible once you become a member in the patron page so, so once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out that would help me to continue what i do in my channel and let's get back to today's episode okay so in this scenario i have placed one camera here which looks in this direction when the character moves over there it will be activated and once character pass this collider this rail camera is activated which will show the camera uh, along this bridge so let me show the demonstration pre-plan the moment direction where the player should be moving based on the inputs instead of moving directly away from the viewpoint and para, uh, perpendicular to the viewpoint as we already have that's the system we already have the directions are calculated based on the location of the camera okay so to do that first let me open my camera blueprint and here in the third person character we have a logic to calculate moment direction it's based on this we just get the camera using this logic and we give the rotation, rotation values like this so instead of doing it this way now I'm gonna do some improvements first let's add an arrow component 
to the camera which allows us to define the forward where the character should be moving when the player press W so then did we define an interface to the camera no so let's define a new interface just like this BPI player let's define a new blueprint interface BPI camera and here let's add a function get directions so let's add two inputs two vectors one is forward and the other one is right okay now in the camera well actually we only need the rotation so therefore we can further simplify this forward and I'll convert this to a rotator that would make things simpler now here under class defaults we can implement BPI camera and after that we will get this input this function also we may always not need to use this pre-planned direction so therefore I'll add a boolean use pre planned moment if this is true we will give forward like this get the arrow i'll call this forward get rotate get word rotation y2 okay. and return it if not we will add another return that uh, rotation let's return that right now in here if we have a camera object instead of doing it this way we can use that interface function get forward no that's not the name get directions mm, maybe this is not the optimal name get forward rotation that should be more clear get forward rotation and let's return that well actually we should be giving not the actor location the camera get forward rotation it doesn't matter what's the actor rotation is so now and also we have another mistake here this is not actually the camera actor this is just a scene component which is not going to return anything when i call this so i set this scene component with this update camera component now to fix this instead of keeping this scene component reference i'll change this into an actor and also i'll change this function to get an actor reference rather than a scene component so actor 
object reference now there will be errors here because these variable types do not match so at and now like this and also this preview camera that also needs to be changed to an actor and compile okay where else we have others here Okay. Okay, all that is are fixed. Mm, what about the camera? We also we should have some errors. Yeah. Instead of giving the reference to camera component. We should give a reference to self now. Right. Now, the next thing is for this on rail camera, I'll enable use pre plan movement. And for this one also, if I use you press use pre plan movement, that should be fine, but it wouldn't make a difference much of a difference because we are directly looking at this direction anyway okay now let's see here let's go inside and the camera should be switched soon yeah see now i press w character is going along the path nicely even though it does not exactly match the direction the camera is facing so but player will uh, intuitively understand this because this is the direction the character is meant to move according to this situation and if i press d and a character will mo be moving in perpendicular directions to the forward so yeah with this i think we can conclude this episode let me just come back and show how the camera is switched back to the other camera see okay and when we comes into this uh, hole or whatever this area will be switched back to the other camera all right hope you learned something so updated project files will be available here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and feel free to let me know what else i would cover i should cover in this episode in this series and also i'm thinking of uh, covering uh, what happens when the character is moved in a curved path think of something like a spiral staircase where we need to follow the character with some side angle but still the character should move along the spiral path uh, without any confusion so i'm gonna think about that as well so thanks again for watching see you in the next episode goodbye